How's it going, David from Comic Book Investments? So, I'm a comic book channel, and so definitely I mostly talk about comic or comic related things. So, I feel like I can kind of talk about this because it's somewhat comic book, because comic books are art, and this is an animation. But I must say, I just have to go out here and tell people that before it goes out of theaters, you have to go see The Wild Robot. It is probably is the best movie I've seen this year. And yes, I saw Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, it is better than that. It depends what you want, though. But in terms of a movie, it it is a better movie than Deadpool Wolverine. Best movie by far. Uh, it might be one of the best animation movies I've ever seen. It's so good. Storytelling, all that kind of stuff. But it depends what you want out of a film. Uh, if you want to be scared, then you go see a horror movie. So then you watch a horror movie. And if it scares you, then... It did its job. If you want to laugh and have a good time, you go see a comedy or something like that. If you want a great love story, you go see a romance movie. And then that's what you're expecting. And if it delivers, then it delivers. This one, if you're a fan of you know, hope, friendship, love, uh, family, um, just overall storytelling, uh, plot, dialogue, all that stuff, you know, what would make a good movie, if you want that, watch The Wild Robot. It will tug on your heartstrings constantly, uh, and it never lets up. And it's, I'm not saying it's like fast paced, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But it's like once it goes, it just goes and doesn't stop. And it's like perfectly paced. The whole movie is perfectly paced. Um, I cannot recommend this movie enough. Um, I mean, most of you probably don't care because you're coming here for like comic book news or something like this, not comic book news. But it's a great movie. Um, I went and watched it with my wife. Um, there was, we watched it the second weekend. It was so it wasn't a packed theater by any means, but most of the people there were adults. Um, a few people with their kids, just a few, but most of them were like us, just adults watching it. So it's not like a kid movie. It, I mean, it's PG, um, but it deals with some definitely like heavy stuff. Maybe kids probably won't notice it or even understand it. But I could not recommend this movie enough. The animation is great. Um, it, it was done for, I think, like 70 something million, but it doesn't feel like that. I mean, yeah, 70 million seems like low budget, but it just, it's very well done in DreamWorks style. Just very good storytelling, very just everything about it. I could not recommend it enough, especially if you go to the theater setting, setting, you'll see it in a much better light compared to if you're at your house and you're probably checking your phone or you're getting up, pausing the movie, stuff like that. This will just, you know, you're in the zone for, I think it's an hour and 45 minutes. So it's not too long. It's not like a two hour long movie, but it's really, really, really good. I could not recommend this enough. I would suggest go and watch it. Uh, I think it comes out of theaters in like a month or so or however long movies these days last. Uh, not very long, but great movie. So I give it a, a 10 out of 10. If I could give it higher, I would. I mean, I could if I wanted to. I could say it's a 12 out of 10. You know, it's my rating. But I would give it a 10 out of 10. Definitely go see it. Definitely go watch it if you're into that kind of stuff. And you will definitely like it. Uh, also on Rotten Tomatoes, and the critic and the audience score is both a 98%. Both perfect. Well, close to perfect. Almost 100%. I don't know who those 2% two, two people were that didn't like it. Um, they probably went in thinking it was like a Transformers movie and people just like battling and they're like, what is this? This is not Wild Robot. Um, yeah, so go watch it. You'll have a good time.